It's with great pleasure that I introduce my colleague, Attorney General Mari Healy. Hello, Democrats. I so wish we could all be together today. These conventions are one of my favorite days because I get to see so many friends from over the years, friends who know how to build grassroots campaigns and win. There's no question that 2021 has been a challenging year, but we should pause to celebrate one major achievement together. It's the year we've got a Democrat back in the White House. At the Attorney General's office, we spent four years as the last line of defense against Donald Trump's racist, anti-democratic policies. We stood for the dreamers, for science, for our climate, for the Affordable Care Act, for students, organized labor, women. We stood for the rule of law. We held the line while so many of you fought in the trenches to flip not just the presidency, but Congress too. And now because of those doors that you knocked and the calls that you made, we've got a chance to build a country that is fairer, more equitable, and actually fulfills the promise of opportunity for everyone. That's what we've been doing at the Attorney General's office. As the people's lawyer, we are taking on some of the most powerful institutions in this country. We're taking on the NRA for the victims of gun violence and Uber and Lyft on behalf of workers. We're taking on ExxonMobil to protect our climate and the Sacklers on behalf of families devastated by the opioid crisis. Just last week, we announced that we're challenging Texas for its unconstitutional abortion ban. Let's be clear, states that ban abortion aren't Republican states, they're voter suppression states. The Texas legislature exists as it does because of gerrymandering and the suppression of black and brown voters. It's why we need Congress to pass the Freedom to Vote Act, the Women's Health Protection Act, and to repeal the discriminatory Hyde Amendment. This brings me to Massachusetts and our governor. I was disappointed the other day when I heard Governor Baker say that he didn't support same day voter registration because it's too complex. Too complex for who? The single parent working multiple jobs who didn't have time to register? The renter evicted during the pandemic? We're talking about a policy that would enfranchise thousands of people of color, low income residents, renters, military, and our young people. No, same day registration isn't too complex. It's fundamental and we should pass it now. Let's get it done. But his comment also represents a bigger problem. We're in a moment of great challenge, a moment that demands greater urgency. Massachusetts saw the highest increase in food insecurity in the country last year. The median worth for white households in greater Boston is a quarter of a million dollars. For black families, it's $8. Our economy, our society, it doesn't work for everyone because it wasn't built for everyone. Systemic racism and misogyny have held back women and black and brown and indigenous people for generations. My work has been taking on these injustices. It's what motivated me to leave a big law firm job and join the attorney general's office as a civil rights lawyer. It's what made me run as a first time candidate in 2014 and to come to you to ask for your help. It's why I'm so thankful for the opportunity you gave me to take on these injustices as your attorney general for the past seven years. It's also why I can tell you this, this is our moment to bring fundamental change. This is Massachusetts's moment to act, it's moment to lead. As you know, I'm giving serious thought about my future path and whether I will enter the race for governor. But I know this, in this moment, we need a governor who will speak fully and clearly about the root of these problems and embrace the changes we need to fix them. A governor who declares that student debt is an anchor on the economic futures of black and brown communities and fights to cancel it. A governor who will ensure early education for every family because that's how we get women back to work and level the playing field for every child. A governor who won't support Susan Collins and veto the Roe Act, but will speak out for abortion rights in Massachusetts and across this country. A governor who supports the millionaire's tax to make our tax system fair and to invest in transportation and education for all. A governor who will lead on climate, on workers' rights, on voting rights and civil rights. The time for excuses is over. 
These aren't too complex. They're fundamental. They're who we are. Yes, it is time for a democratic governor. I know you have what it takes to realize this vision. Stick to your values, work hard and don't back down. You did it last year. You can do it again here in Massachusetts. Thank you Democrats for all you do. I can't wait to see you soon.